Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video on the Better Gamer official YouTube channel. I am the Emerald Fishy, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a spin-off video, something that could eventually turn into a series, depending on how well this video does. We are going to be playing the mobile horror game, Granny. Uh, usually, obviously, you play this on a mobile device, but I'm going to be playing it on my computer today using an emulator. So, like I've already said, today we're going to be playing the mobile horror game Granny. So, in Granny, the aim is to escape a large house in five days uh, with this evil Granny that stood in the doorway chasing you and trying to uh, kill you, basically. Hit you with that baseball bat and cause you serious injury. She has items hidden all around the house to help you uh, to help you escape. And if you don't do it within the five days that you're given, it's game over. Every time you get caught, it skips a day. I can't lie to you, I have played this game a couple of times before. However, I hope you enjoy watching nonetheless. If this video does really well, we will turn this into a series because um, there is another granny game as well, but in this granny game that we're playing today There are two escapes and I've already decided which escape we're going to do today And I'm going to be starting off on the easy difficulty Which is kind of the base difficulty with granny actually included in the house So if we do do any future videos, we can kind of bump up the difficulty and see where we can go I would like to turn this into a series so hopefully uh, this video will do well enough so that we can turn it into a series, but we'll have to wait and see. So guys, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and check the notification bell is on, so that you will be notified whenever we post future content on the channel. You can access our social media links, such as Twitter, and our Discord server in the description, and you can also access the link to our website in the description if you are interested. So, without further ado, I'm just going to get us started. So, we're starting on the easy difficulty uh, with the music on. So, this is kind of the base difficulty, really. So, I'm going to chuck us straight in. Day one. So, as you can see, we've woken up in our bedroom. So, Granny, like I said, has things all over the house. It's very important to search every little bit of the house to make sure we can find the items we need. Uh, we're going to be escaping through the front door. That's the escape I've decided to do. But as you can see, there are a few things we need to get off the door, all of which we're going to try and do in this video without reaching a game over. So, there didn't seem to be anything in the bathroom, which is a bit of a shame because it would have been nice to get some items off the bat. Let's look throughout the rest of this floor. There is a car battery there. And I have already managed to die. That was a brilliant start. Day two already. That is honestly really frustrating. I actually can't believe I've just done that. So it says I have to leave the house after we've been caught once. Uh, I apologise for the lag, it should fix itself, there we go, it's gradually fixing itself. So anyway, what I was trying to say before I got... Do you want to play hide and seek? <laughs> uh, not really, I'm just gonna shut the door and hope you don't find me. Um, this is the car battery, we don't need the car battery for the current escape. Oh yeah, that's another thing, I'm gonna get under the bed just for safety. That is another thing as well. Um. She likes to drop bear traps to try and catch us, and they get us stuck, we have to remove them, so, um, obviously that takes time, and in that time she can catch up to us, so it can be very dangerous, if we're not careful. I'm trying to judge whether it's safe to go or not. I can hear her opening doors in the background. I'm gonna get out from under the bed, and I'm gonna move on into the next room. Oh, no, she's there. Right, we need to run. We need to run. We need to run. We need to run. Out the door. Open the door. Open the door and run. Open the door. Run, 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 run. Seriously, run. She's after us. Ah! Under the bed. Under the bed. Under the bed. Oh, my God. I think we're going to get caught because she's seen us. <laughs> I honestly don't know how we got away with that one. I swear she saw us get under the bed, so theoretically she should have caught us, but she didn't. But of course, that 
clanking sound on the ground means she's just put a bear trap down, which is not great. So, as you can tell, um, we need to hurry up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on a quick rampage of this floor and stop talking for two minutes and maybe that actually might help us make some progress. The cutting players, they're going to be very useful for the front door, you'll see why soon. So I'm just going to run through here because there are some bots in the way. We need to run now because we've just knocked a hangar over as well, which makes quite a bit of noise. Um, there's a hidden passageway behind here, so I'm going to get in here. There is also a part of a shotgun here as well. So let's open up this back wall. Just the teddy. Uh, the teddy's always here. Apart from that, all the other items, apart from a couple more as well, always randomise. So like, there's always a level of difficulty to this game, which is why it's so easy to play over and over again. I'm trying to gauge where Granny is right now. Right, she's just put down another bear trap, so I'm assuming she's leaving. But if uh, I'm going to wait here, because if she's leaving, she could come down here to leave as well, rather than going back downstairs. I'm going to pull a very risky move and move backwards here. Let's look in these drawers. The spark plug as well. Right. Okay. Let's go down here. And let's head into the basement. Uh, because I'm going to pull a very smart move. You'll see what I'm doing. So we actually... I don't know if you've heard that, but I just heard her unlock a door, so I don't actually know where she's gone, but she's not going to be there for very long. That is another thing I should probably mention as well. Wherever she hears a noise, her AI homes in on that area, and she will run to it, which is why it's so important to make as little noise as possible. Uh, she's just moved that, which means that she's nearby. There she is. Hello, Granny. She's just spooked herself by knocking that cage over. That is actually quite funny, to be honest. So now she's there, what I'm going to go and do is because, like, this area here is sort of the other side of the house and I need to get up the stairs of the basement, I'm going to drop the cutting players and, as you can see, she's straight off up the stairs to go and find out what the noise was. Uh, she can't get in these areas because you have to crouch to get in these areas, by the way. So now she's going to run down here and I can go up there uh, while we have some time to do so and hope that we find some relatively decent items maybe, hopefully, question mark. Right, so the reason I'm using the cutting players here is because there are some things we need to do with the cutting players to start off with as well. While I'm down here I may as well rummage a bit to see if I can find any other items that may be of use to us why granny is on the other side of the house engine part that's also for another escape which we don't need today <laughs> this just has the book so i'm gonna rampage through the kitchen later on because the kitchen is too much of a risk right now so i'm gonna chop this wire here and then, so that is one half of the alarm system, as you can see, because one half's gone green. That is an alarm system. We need to make the other half go green, and I'll show you how to do that now. So basically, you just knock this uh, interface off here and snip that wire as well. Now she's going to run down here. My controls are breaking. No, get under, under, under. Woo, that could have been deadly, because I don't know how nearby she actually is to us. What I'm going to go and do, actually, I'm going to just drop these here again, because... I could do... I'm actually going to wait till she comes down as well so I can actually gauge where she is, sort of. Right, she's down here. So now I'm going to throw the item in here. Is she going to go... Yeah, she's she's running. She's a running off to see what that noise was. I'm going to leave the cutting players in here where it doesn't make any noise. Right, while she's in there... Also, by the way, the reason I'm going all the way around and not walking straight across that wire, because if I walk across that wire, it will ring the bell and make a lot of noise, so I don't want to really be doing that right now. The house might not seem that big right now, but trust me, it's massive, it is huge, and you'll see that when we start exploring other areas later on in the video. Right, so we're in the kitchen, let's explore the cupboard. The special key, we might end up using that later. A piece of painting... You can use, by the way, oh, part of a shotgun. That's two parts of the shotgun we found now, and there's only three parts, so we found, like, basically two-thirds of the shotgun. As you can imagine, we can use the shotgun to get rid of her for a bit, but I don't want to build that right now. 
And in the microwave, we have a cogwheel. And obviously, that made noise, so I'm going to have to run. I don't know if you saw them on the bottom left as well of my screen. There was some meat as well. And you'll see why we need to use that later on as well. There's a grid down here. I'm going to open that up just in case we need to run down there and escape. Uh, I'm going to ring the bell to get her in here. Again, so I can gauge where she is. And then I'm going to get in this box and hide. So, right. I don't want this to be too overwhelming, so I'm just going to stop for a minute and do some explaining. Boxes and cupboards and beds we can hide under as long as she doesn't see us get in them because then she obviously knows we're in there, so she'll open them and attack you. Um, we can use these areas to hide in. There she is. We can use these areas to hide and get away from her for a bit um, just so that we don't get caught and waste days. Right, she's going now. And there are a lot of areas in the house, as you can see, so I don't want that to be too overwhelming. Don't worry about them now. They'll all become clear as we begin exploring them throughout the video. She's just put another bear trap down. And I think she might have put that on the way into the kitchen as well. Because she knows we can't get through that door. Because some doors are locked and only Granny can get through them. And that door is one of them. That door just goes to the back of the dining table. Ooh! This is a very useful item. The melon. So... What we can do, we've got a guillotine here, and we can put the melon inside the guillotine and chop it. So that's the playhouse key. The playhouse is right there. I'm going to get back in here, though, because sugar... Oh, thank God she didn't see us get in. That, that was close. I thought she saw us get in then, and I heard the door open. I was like, get in the box! Thank God, right. She's, she's leaving us alone now. That's good. I'm going to have to get back in here in a minute, though, and you'll see why when I make more noise. Basic. What are you doing? I nearly got caught again. Please tell me you're leaving. I don't know about you, but I didn't hear the sound of her unlocking the door when she came in that second time either. Am I safe to come out now? I think I am. So, while standing here, I'm going to unlock this padlock. And then get back in the box. <laughs> so now she's going to come back in. She's going to be like, what was that noise? And she's going to have a moment to see if anyone has been around. Even though, to be honest, she's not really intelligent enough to do that. Also, obviously, as you can probably tell, it seems that Granny is sort of zombified, if you will. An undead creature, maybe. Who knows? Granny Law. Down goes the bear trap, and off she goes again. Right, I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make a very grand escape. I'm gonna open this door. We will we will explore inside of here later on. Um, as you can probably tell by that little interface, though, there's one cog in there. We need two more cogs. So if we find two more cogs, then we can get access to whatever items inside of that box, which is going to be very important. So this area here in here is um, what I like to use as like a little hub to keep my items because because this is like soil, uh, which is quite a soft material sometimes, um, we can actually drop the items in here and it won't make too much noise. Oh, that's going to be an issue. We're going to have to knock those boxes over and that's going to grab our attention, isn't it? So we have a piece of paper on here which reads a little message. Um... If you want to pause the video and read that, you can, but I'm not going to read that today. Um, I'm just going to move on with the video. Oh, that worked. That That's just brilliant. That is just brilliant. I think... Right, the boxes can just stay... Uh, to be honest, I should be grateful. Blessing in disguise that that didn't make any noise. Right. I'm going to take you around the back of here as well. Because round the back of these stairs, you'll find another staircase down to the garagey area. Oh, that's the third part of the shotgun. So, I know where the f one shotgun part is. I know where this one is. I don't know. I can't remember where the other one is, though. Oh, well, we'll have to find it. So, we need the car key to get in there. Uh, let's go in the little glove compartment. We need to be careful because this door can fall off. Nothing in there. Um... Well, let's put the part of the shotgun in over here. This is like the little area where we craft the shotgun. And now I'm just going to get on out of here because I'm worried about dying. 
I'm going to get back down this other side because I want to see if I can find that other shotgun piece. I think it was in the kitchen. I think. Let's drop that in here. Cool. Right, she's going to get very angry now and wonder what on earth is going on. So we're just going to escape through that door. Where are you? Oh, dear. She's wondering where we are. Right. What on earth just... Did one of her bear traps just go out? I think she's just managed to trap herself with one of her bear traps. Because I heard the sound. Right, I'm going to ring the bell in the garden to get her in, to get her attention into the garden. And then I'm going to go back into the basement. And put this other part of the shotgun in. Because we've got the uh, the barrel which is in right now. And then this is the handle. And then I think I know where the other piece is. The, um, the handle. But we'll have to see. It's worrying me how close she is. So... Right, she's just come back through there. Right, okay. So she's like in the kitchen area now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back through here. I'm wearing headphones right now as well, guys, which is kind of where I can hear her and kind of gauge whereabouts she is in the house. If you play the game, I recommend you use headphones as well. Very, very useful. Bear trap. Cool. Right. I think I've just made noise, for goodness sake. Right, quick, quick, we need to get in here, we need to go downstairs. And Right, she's going to come through this area now. Right, there's nothing in there, right, we're just going to have to go down to this little sewer bit and hide. Until she's gone. I'll have to take a listen out. But while, while she's in there, actually, I'll show you through this bit. But if we go through here, you can see that this kind of links up to the garden where we just were. So that's what the little grid was before. I swear I've just heard about three bear traps go down at once. That is really not good. I'm surprised, to be honest, that we haven't found more items than what we have. <gasps> Final part of the shotgun. Okay. So, let's run back down to the basement. What I'm going to do, I'm going to attract her down here again. Just so that she's on the other side of the house. She won't be far away from here, so I do need to be quick. Actually, I'll just knock that over. Simple. <gasps> Oh, I don't. I, th I think that bear trap was upside down, which is how I've just avoided it. I was, I was panicking for a moment there. Also, that's another thing as well. In case you haven't played this game before, the shotgun pieces. I've not just knocked that off. Thank God. The shotgun pieces, not the shotgun pieces, just all the items in general, apart from a few, randomise each time. Don't know if I've already told you that, but um, if I have, then. A little reminder for you. Right, I've just attracted her down here. So, um, I have the shotgun, which is not the ideal uh, means that I would prefer to use against Granny, but here we are. So, um, right, let's get ready. Really? Can you not see? Fire! Cool, right, I, I know that was a bit vicious. I apologise. Right, let me get another piece of ammo, and then I'm going to go and do another thing that requires the shotgun. Right. Oh, the winch handle. Cool. Right, here we go. And fire. Cool. So now we've just opened up that room because we shot the target on the door. This is a freeze trap. You can use this to freeze granny. But you have to be careful with it because sometimes um, it is possible to freeze yourself as well. I need to remember that I've left that shotgun down there, by the way. Very important. Right, we need the hammer to get through there. We need to find a hammer. Don't know where we're going to find that. I think I can think of a place where it would be. But I'm not too sure, to be honest. Right, let's get back under here. Because I need to take this winch handle to the garden, and you'll see why. Right, let's go and put the winch handle on. So, the winch handle, in case you're wondering, goes on the well. So, we could put it on the well. And then we can turn it and bring an item up from the well. <laughs> You just have to keep hold of this till the item comes up. And would we'll... Right, Granny's back. Really not good. Um, ideally, not what I wanted. But I can um, go and fix this issue, sort of. She's back already. Oh, she's just gone up the stairs, for goodness sake. That means she's really close. That's not good if we make noise. Right, I think I can do the front door without stepping over the wire, which is cool. Whereabouts has she gone? Cool, right, she's gone around the house. Let's do this. 
and leave the hammer up here. And now she's going to run back here. And while she's running back there, I'm going to get her in here actually as well. While she's running back around there, I can go and get um go and get the gun back to see if we can shoot her again. Right, let's go and grab the shotgun, which I believe whoa lag spike. Which I believe I left in here. Um, I don't really want to play hide and seek, Granny. No, appreciate you asking though. Right. Let's run back upstairs. The question is, Granny, where are you? Because I need to shoot you, and I just failed to make noise. There we go. Come and find me. Come on. Here she is. Goodbye. <laughs> this shotgun is brutal, honestly. Get off. Get off. Get off. Please, get off. Oh, my word. No. Please. She really needs to move and, like, really... Do you know what? It'll be quicker going around the long way to do what I want to do than this. Right, so let me... Actually, we can go to a place that's nearer to here first and use the hammer where it's needed. I need to, I'd rather get all the things that need the hammer out of the way with so that I can just ditch the hammer. So firstly, we need it in here so that we can open up all of these areas here. And none of them have fallen. Like most, like they have a probability to fall straight away. And usually at least one or two of them fall, but none of them fell. Then the bird seed, that's actually like quite a lucky item to get in here. Because it means I only have to walk a little bit to get to this area. Is the door open? Yeah, it's cool. Right, let's place the bird seed in. And then the bird will fly over here. And then we can get the remote control. Um, in which I'm probably going to leave in here for now. Then I need to leg it upstairs. By the time like I've done what I want to do, or even by the time I've got up here, Granny will probably be already back. Um, but let's hope we can get it done. Right, so we need to go into this upstairs area here. From the second floor. And then we need to knock down some planks. Uh, uh, do, do, do. Cool. I didn't mean to do that. Now the hammer's been used though. And now we can go and place our thing here and knock the floor through. Oh no! I fell! You are kidding me. I really did not mean to do that. I'm so annoyed with myself that I've just done that. Every oh. oh well. I think it's time to go and get the shotgun because Granny will now be back. I've just thought of another thing we can do as well after we've shot Granny again. So, yeah, we'll do that. Hello! Goodbye! Diddly dong! Right. Boom. Okay, usually you'd shoot the pot off as well, but I don't think I'll ever be able to do that again. So, we've got the trusty screwdriver. I keep pressing the wrong button, it's so annoying. Oh, that is a good key. That is a good key. I like that a lot. This is the key that we can use on the front door. Right, cool. Let's go and unlock the front door. Uh, unlock this bit. So, that was the padlock. I'll get my shotgun again, and I'll get a final piece just in case. So, now, in terms of the door, we only need one more piece, and that is the master key to unlock the actual door itself so that we can escape. Is it up here? It's not. But what is up here is the safe key. For goodness sake. Is she back? Because if she... I need to go and get the cutting pliers. Oh, for goodness sake. Actually, what's in this little room at the side here? Before I jump to any conclusions. Well, um, I'm going to wait to shoot her again. But that is the best luck I've had in this game for a long time. Right, I'm going to knock this over to attract her just in case she is back. Right, I've just seen her on the bottom left of my screen coming up the staircase, so she's gonna get needs. I'm gonna let her come in, because I'm not putting up with her on a staircase again. Right, cool. That 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 was quite funny. I can't lie. Right, 
if the if the master key is in the playhouse, then we've practically just finished the run. And I'm going to be a bit sad because I didn't get to show you what was up here, which is quite sad, but maybe that'll have to be saved for another video. Right, let's... Cool, right. Granny, I'm going to need you to shift. Thank you. So, we can get to the playhouse area by going through this window. And then we're going to go in here and put in our cog. Then we need to go and get the other cog, which is in the microwave, I believe. Cool, it's in the microwave. And now we can find out what is in here. For goodness sake, it's the weapons key. To be fair, that is pretty good, but it's not what I wanted. Um... Well, I mean, at least I guess we can get to show you what's all the way at the top, I guess. Even though I'm still a little bit annoyed. Actually, I'm going to go through the basement way. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going through the sewers. I need to make my mind up. This will allow us, as you can tell probably by the name of the key, to get us a new weapon, which is better, to be honest. I can't lie to you. It is better. The only thing is, is it doesn't send Granny away for two and a half minutes. Instead, it sends her away for two minutes. But we can we can deal with that. Spark plug in there. Again, don't need that for this escape, but oh well. Right. Crossbow. Right. I hope she's back. If she comes up this way, which I don't think she will, I'll be annoyed. I don't think she even can get up that way, actually, with the way she spawns in. But oh well. She should come down this middle staircase if she's back. She might not be back yet, to be fair, because we were pretty quick doing all that cog stuff. Oh, here she is. I lost my attention span for a moment there. Right, cool. At least can I have my dart. Thank you. Right, now she's gone for two minutes, so that's just a tranquilizer dart. Crossbow and a tranquilizer dart. That's going to be really annoying if I need to get back down there and she's still there. She does fade away after a while, though. Right, I'm going to prepare to go in the very top area and hope what I need is in there. Because if it isn't, then I don't really know where else to look, to be honest. Right, so I'm going to drop this here. Where's it? Where? Where's? Where's my dart just gone? I've not even got time to waste. I'm confused as to where on earth my dart's just gone. Because it's not on the floor down here, so it can't have gone... On. Of course, it's down here. For, for goodness sake. Right, where was the special key? It was in here. Right, cool. This is the key we need to use in that, like, four-prodded lock. Cool. We've unlocked the door. I've just... This is the problem when you have the same button for two things. Right, cool. So now I need to go and get my dart. I prob and hope we don't get uh, killed by Granny in the process. Right, I need to aim about here. Because basically, in there, is the spider. Yeah, she has a bird and a spider. If you look closely, I've just heard her drop a bear trap. I've no time to talk. Oh, I thought I missed that then. Thank God. Right, I don't. I think she'll come up here now because the dart landed on the floor. That is not what I need. That is not what I need. I've just thought of another thing I can look. For, uh, I can use to look for actually. Wait, no noise is made up here. In which, right, I'm just going to knock over the mannequin then, because that will get her up here. I've just been standing there waiting like a lemon with a floor that doesn't make any noise. Yep, she's going to come running right up them stairs, isn't she? Bye! Get back, you, you, you villainous creature. Worst insult I've ever come up with. Right, hopefully this is where I remember it. Yes! Right, this is what we need. Or what, well, it might not be what we need, but um, I'm hoping it'll give us what we want. Fingers crossed. Right, okay, we can use this remote to unlock this. Oh, you're kidding me, aren't you? You are actually kidding me. I'm trying to think... There's one more place, literally one more place I can think to look, and then I'm out of ideas to be honest with you. I'm 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 really out of ideas for where I haven't looked. But the one place I can think where I haven't looked, why am I still holding this remote? 
The one place where I can think of have, I haven't looked is behind the bookcase. It doesn't seem like it's there either. I mean, it could be behind behind all that sand, but my I have doubts of it. <gasps> oh my god, that was the biggest. Oh my god, my, my heart. Oh my god. That honestly that scared me the living daylights out of me. Like I panicked so much that I couldn't find the button to shoot for a moment there. Wait, I've just thought of another item I've not found. The car key. Because I'm thinking it could be in the car. But where would the car key be? Wait, guys, I think I'm being an idiot. I've just re you're probably shouting this at your screens as well. I've just thought of something I haven't done, which is the cutting pliers upstairs. I need to do that, don't I? Right, because there's bullets downstairs, I'm going to leave my crossbow in here. And then I'm going to go and grab the cutting pliers, because you remember before saying that I needed the cutting pliers for something. Well, here's where that becomes a reality. Right, I need to be very careful when treading across here, because... You'll know too well that last time I tried to go across here, I fell through and died. So I need to be very careful. Oh, I've made it. Cool. Right. Let's go and chop this. This is the safe key. And I've... Right, we need to unlock this door by taking the screws out. Oh my god, you're kidding me. She's down there. Right. Time to get in the, in the box, I guess. Want to play hide and seek? <laughs> to be honest, Granny, I really don't fancy playing hide and seek. I hope. Oh my word! You've just scared the living daylights. Wait, she's not stuck, is she? Oh my word! I thought she was stuck then. Every time she puts the mannequin back up, it falls. <laughs> I might have to risk getting caught just to finish this off. Because she's not going to leave because she keeps knocking over that mannequin. I think I might just risk getting caught just to make everything unstuck. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Right, I, I, I'm not being funny. I had to do that because she got herself in a loop. Right, so we should be on day four now. Right, cool, yeah. Had to do that one, unfortunately. Right, she's gone now. And I've just done exactly what I told myself not to do before. Right, that hammer, we need to go. And, right, then the mannequin should now stand up when it's put back up. So I need to grab the save key. And then I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut and go through this grid here. Because this grid leads into the bathroom. This is the car key. So what's in the car? There's literally, this is the only place it could be now. It has to be in here. Because with this is the only spawning place left. Oh, thank God. So hard because the items randomise each game. To be fair though, I think that's what makes it not boring, which is fun. Right. So, we've done everything else on the door. And now it's time for us to escape. We've done it. We've actually done it. Bye, Granny. That run was not the easiest. Um, it was far from the easiest, I would say, to be honest. Uh, did struggle a little bit with that run. But apart from that, it went really well. So there we go. We've completed a run of Granny. Now, obviously, there's a whole other escape that we could have done, which is why I kept avoiding car parts, funnily enough. But yeah, if you want to see more uh, where we do the car escape and we can bump up the difficulty or maybe move on to the next game and complete the other three escapes in that as well, which is a decent amount of gameplay that we could fit on the channel, please make sure to let us know in the comments. But apart from that, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, Make sure to subscribe and make sure the notification bell is turned on so that you can never miss out on future content that we post on the channel. Apart from that, 
I've been the Emerald Fishy. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.